Dr. Joy Gleason Carew, granddaughter of Winston-Salem State University founder Simon Green Atkins, recently visited Winston-Salem State and discussed her recent book, Blacks, Reds, and Russians, Sojourners in Search of the Soviet Promise, and shared insights about her travels and Afro-Russian relations. Here are excerpts from her lecture. In most of my classes, I find some way to bring whatever I'm talking about to the fact that we are all participants in a society and we are all potential contributors. People who were going to the Soviet Union went through enormous uh, difficulty to go. First of all, you had to travel maybe across the U.S. to get to a port, New York or Washington, Philadelphia. Then you traveled across on a boat that could take several weeks, and the boat wouldn't go straight to Russia. You had to go through England, maybe Hamburg, Germany, and then the, uh, to get to the Soviet Union. So this was a long endeavor to get there, and then when you got there, it was going to be a place where they spoke Russian. People were taking dramatic chances. And why were they doing that? They were doing that because spiritually, professionally, and any other way of say, feeling oneself as a, as a true human being was foreclosed to them here. Paul Robeson was perhaps the best known black person when speaking of the black Russian ties. In the 1950s, at the height of the Cold War, Robeson was accused of treason for his support of the Soviets. Grilled by the McCarthy tribunals of the House Committee on Un-American Activities, he was asked, well, if you like the Soviet Union so much, why don't you just go live there? Stay there if you like it so much. But to this he replied, I'm not going to do that because my father was a slave, my people died to build this country and, and have a part of it, just like you and no fascist-minded people are going to drive me away from it. 